Welcome back to our channel. Today, we dive deep into the world of toilet design, specifically the eight essential design aspects and mistakes that are often made during renovation. Stick around until the end for a game-changing tip that will significantly elevate your bathroom's aesthetics. We'll consider an average-sized toilet for the sake of today's discussion. All right, let's dive right in. Planning Think of your bathroom as a journey. Upon entering, the wash basin should greet you first due to its frequent use. Next up, the closet, and finally, the bathing area. If your door is centered on a long wall, set the wash basin directly across, the closet by the door's opening side, and the bathing area opposite the door. Wash Basin Detailing Opt for countertop wash basins, they're visually appealing. But instead of setting them on a full stone top, choose a 16-inch deep counter. Let one-third of the basin overhang the front. It's chic and minimalistic. And a note, avoid storage or vanities underneath. They degrade quickly. As for mirrors, if feasible, extend them to the closet's back wall. Water Closet you'll find wall-mounted and floor-mounted closets in stores. Wall-mounted versions are sleek and modern, but their concealed cisterns can be a maintenance headache if issues arise. Our suggestion? Go for the hybrid model, essentially a wall-mounted unit with an external cistern. Bathing Area this space should be 6 to 8 millimeters below the main floor level. Include a floor mat with a drainage channel to ensure a dry, slip-resistant surface. Consider a glass partition for separation, but avoid sealing it with a door. This traps moisture. Tiling Smaller floor tiles, around 400 millimeters, work best for average-sized toilets. They allow for subtle, effective sloping. Resist the urge to use different shade tiles for different areas. It can make the space seem restricted. Instead, create a striking contrast between wall and floor tiles. As for trendy choices, a single wall of highlight tiles, especially near the bathing cubicle, can create a statement. Ceiling Opt for a flat ceiling design, complemented by coves along the walls. For an added touch, consider a circular cove above specific points, like over the closet. Remember, wall tiles should reach the highest point of the cove. This ensures any alignment discrepancies remain hidden. Lighting White or bluish white lights, around 7000 Kelvin, are ideal. Cove lights can set the ambience, while fixtures near mirrors cater to task lighting needs. Consider pendant lights next to mirrors for a decorative touch, and maybe even a light over the bathing cubicle. Elevate the look. Now, for those small, transformative tweaks. Incorporate lit niches wherever you can. Rethink traditional drains a broad channel across the bathing area, filled with smooth white stones, is both functional and appealing. 
Lastly, consider a foot light beneath the WC. We'd love to hear from you. Which design aspect resonated most with you? If you found this video enlightening, give us a thumbs up. And if you are new here, do subscribe for more expert interior design insights. And that wraps up our discussion. We hope you feel equipped and inspired to take on your next bathroom renovation project. Until next time, goodbye.